That's why I'm kind of against this idea of, you know, of the perfect swing. You know, as humans, we have to adapt. All right, I'm in the, uh, the backyard. Pan around, Mike, so we can just kind of see where we are. I'm in the backyard of John Erickson. John is a former tour player that is now teaching golf with this thing called advanced ball striking. It's really cool. One of the things that was really impressive that I saw you did like uh, 10 years ago is you were hitting one irons off here. You still have the ability to, to hit one iron? We'll find out, won't we? We'll find out. <laughs> All right, let's start off the video with a couple of shots. Yeah, so this this one iron is a like an early 1950s Tommy Armour. How uh, flat is that? 985. Uh, this I set my irons up at six degrees flat, okay. as uh, Anthony does as well. Okay. And uh, well, remind me to talk about that because that's a really yeah. important concept. Mm -hmm. Hitting the first shot of the day is yeah. like going to tell me who I am today. Well, what will you do before you hit shots? Because I, well, I, know I you, might you have certain things to prep your body to. Yeah, I'll stretch, which I didn't do today. Yeah. Um, but uh, I would I would spend some time. You know, taking practice swings, figuring out like where my low point is feeling like today, because it's going to change every day, depending yeah. on how much I'm flexibility in legs, how, mu how much I'm laterally moving and that sort of thing. So it moves around how a little bit. Your muscles and motor system is. Yeah. And then, you know, how I'm slotting the club today, am I, you know, am I slotting it a little deeper? I mean, all these things just change. And that's why I'm kind of against this idea of, you know, of the perfect swing. You know, as humans, we have to adapt, right? So whatever this ball does, if I hit this thing, uh, kipe it out to the right or whatever, it's like, uh, okay, then I know, I know me, okay, grab, give me another ball. <laughs> yeah. I know what I need to do to okay. correct that. Gotcha. If I hook it, it's like, oh, we're probably not going to hook it. But, um, so the, the, the first ball of the day gives me a true chance to see exactly what I've brought. And there's no conspiracy. As soon as I grab the second ball, I'm now conspiring to do something. Yeah. But right now I don't know, Yeah. you know? But this is going to tell me, start off with a one What's iron. What's your target here? Um, I, don't, I don't even know yet. I, all I'm going to do is, yeah. in fact, that's a, a topic of discussion because what I try and do is make good contact yeah. and send the ball with a nice flight. And then that tells me where my target is. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to adjust. If I hit it over here, but it's a, it's a, good, it's a good shot, you know? Mm-hmm. That's no, really good. We're good, right? Oh, really good. Yeah. Okay, so now let's say I want to I want to draw the ball. I'll try to put a little tracer on that, but that was dead straight and then faded like 4 yards. Yeah. So, depending on what kind of shot I'm going to hit, um now, would you prefer to, to hit off of a like hard pan like this? Is there is there a technical reason that you like to do it like this rather than if you brought a golf mat up here or whatever? I just it, I I think it's good to practice a hard pan. You know, you got to be more precise. Yeah, because there's angle has to be flat. You yeah, be it, it stopped. Up or a little hit. Well, I'm you know Mo Norman. You know, I knew Mo. You know, yeah. and Mo was always bacon strips, not pork chops. You know, he instilled that. Who bacon strips? No, no pork chops. Bacon strips. Yeah, yeah. You know, and he did. He just he picked it clean, just little little bacon strips. You know, through the shot. In your body or learn because you tried you chunk this sucker. It hurt. Yeah. Right. Huh. All right. So draw here, done. Oh, fucking your swing there. Straight. Yeah, straight. So I didn't hit that well, but you know what? <laughs> it's in play, mm -hmm. right? That's not going to hurt me. I hit it a little thin. Oh, beautiful. Okay. There's a little draw on it. Oh, that's really good. Now that draw, you have to remember we're in a left to right wind. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. So. You know, that's, that's how I approach it. And, and the reason I can do that is because of the technique that I have developed. Okay. Yeah. Now, let's say I want to fade one. Everything that we teach, or I teach in ABS, the way that we shape our shots is all done with post-impact intentions. It doesn't have, we don't change our grip. We don't change our stance. Yeah. We don't change our backswing. We don't change our downswing. I mean, you know how most people say like, you aim your feet left and the face a little open and that'll fade it. Well, that's and one way. Oh. Yeah. Well, there's an infinite number of ways okay. of fading it, right? Yeah. I mean, 
that'll, that'll fade it. Well, right. Like it. I mean, there's, uh -huh. right. The way that we would teach the, uh, the fade shot here. Yep. So that's all done post impact. So now getting to what Anthony and I were talking about alignment. Okay. Now I'm not one that subscribes to the idea of setting up to the target, imagining some line between the target and my ball and then setting up square and then trying to make some perfect swing along that line. Yeah. Okay. And the reason being, and that's all going to depend upon what I'm bringing to the course. If I'm hitting a left to right shot, then obviously I'm aiming everything to the left. Yeah. If it's to the right. But the thing is, I can, I can set up here and I can hit the ball over here. I don't really like to come over and pull it. I don't want to pull it. I'd rather draw it in. Right. Now, when you draw the ball, you put a little more heat on the ball. Yeah, yeah. You know, the draw swing goes, go, farther. goes farther, right? We know that. So what does that mean? Well, I want to have the same intensity striking the ball. So I'm going to just shorten my backswing and hit the, hit the draw. Yeah. I'm going to shorten it and go with the same intensity. So it's not going to go as far as if I took a longer backswing. So getting into like yardages and all this stuff, I don't even use yardages. Yeah, I just play by feel. Um, I, I, I look. I'm more concerned with what I'm going to do with the, the shot, the, the shape of the shot. Am I going to start it right and draw it in? If I'm, uh, let's say, you know, uh, with this one iron, and I'll just say I, we'll just say I hit it 200 yards. Okay. Okay. If I'm roughly, uh, you know, 150 tree, you know, I'm, a, I'm roughly 200 yards, I can see. I, I know what I'd have to do to get it over the back of the green. I know if I hit this, I'd be short of the green. You know, if I just absolutely swing out of my shoes, I'll hit it over the green. Yeah. A little less. So now I'm feeling in, like, what kind of shot am I going to hit in here? If I'm going to draw it, it's going to come off a little hotter, which means I'm going to shorten my backswing. I'm not going to take a long swing and try and draw it. I'm going to knock it over the green. Okay. All right. Okay. Shorter backswing, come in there with an intensity, hit the shot. Now, if, I'm, if I feel like, hey, I, I look out there and... You know, I feel like I'm a little left of the target, you know. Well, am I okay with that? Okay, I'm okay with that. So what am I going to do? It's because that's going to take a little juice off the ball, hitting it left to right. I'm, I know I got to swing a little harder. I might take that bigger backswing and really go at that thing with the fade and hit the, hit the power fade in there. John, when you're hitting these shots, when do you feel like the hit happens as far as, like, are you relaxed, rela like, relax to about here and then the hit really starts to happen there yeah more more through okay. through the strike okay. yeah it's everything is really focused like kind of like effort. like yeah. in this area okay gotcha yeah. you know it, it's definitely past the ball mm -hmm. I, I i try and map the shot that i'm going to play to knowing what that sensation is in the body you know so if i look out there and i say okay i want to hit a little a little low draw out there you know and i'm not you know, Hogan said the same thing. He'd say, what do you hit from 150 yards? He, he would say, it depends. Yeah. Because I use, I use a trajectory control to be the club that I pick. If I want to hit it low, I'll hit a four iron. Yeah. If I want to hit it high, I'll hit an eight iron. If I'm 100, you know, in the old way, 150 yards was a seven or eight iron. Mm -hmm. So if I wanted to if, if hit it high, if the pin was left in front of a bunker, I, and I, I, I would hit a, try and hit a high draw, so I'd hit a hard eight. So let's you know. recreate a shot here. So like the famous, the most famous one iron ever would be Hogan's at Marion. Mm -hmm. right? That was 214, I think. Something like that. Um, so if, I don't know if he hit a draw or a fade. Yeah, I, I don't know. I'm thinking he kind of faded it in. If I remember but right, he, there was a bunker on the right. right. If, if, so if you're trying to hit a, hit a fade at Marion, 214 two or 220 out, mm -hmm. I think Hogan hit it to 30 feet. But if you're doing that and you know you need to make a park, can you just like kind of put a microphone in your head about how you would, if you're in tournament mode, how you would go through that and, and do that? Um, yeah, I mean, I'm gonna consider the wind, you know, what the wind's doing. The lie that I have is the ball sitting down, um, you know, is it sitting up? Uh, what the wind's doing, is the ball below my feet? Is it above my feet? Is it down, downhill, up, you know, all these considerations. So I, I'd have to know all of those things first, yeah. like what, what I'm doing. If I had a fairly level lie, uh, if there's a bunker 
short right of the green. Isn't there a bunker on the short right? I don't remember. I just remember Hogan shot and then Justin Rose had a shot from a similar distance when he won. I'd have to make a choice. Do I do I aim it at the left edge of the bunker and, and then try and draw it so that it's working away from the bunker to, so that I'm not going to be in the bunker? Yeah. Because if I'm if I'm hitting that shot, I'm not gonna. If if I have a chance to win the tournament, I'm not double crossing shots that week. Sure. I, I know that I, I'm not gonna go out there. If I if I aim left and I'm gonna try and cut it in, but let's say I overcut it and and it comes up short in the bunker, mm -hmm. so I'm I'm more likely to go at the left the left side of the bunker and try and hit a dart there and maybe a little bit draw it and get it on the green over there. I don't want to be in that bunker. Okay. Gotcha. If I have to par the hole to win. Yeah. You know, until you do it, one shot to win. <laughs> one shot to win. Yep. Um, so, so what am I? What are we doing here? Am I hitting a, a draw then? So I'm going to hit a little. Yeah. So I'm yeah. going to hit. Try and hit like a kind of a low, uh, a low, low draw shot, mm -hmm. and try and try and kind of skip it and run it up that right side. Yeah. Right. So that's going to work. Yep, that's going to be the left side. Of so that's the left side of the green, right? Trouble. And yeah. Fine. So that's never, I mean, that shot, I'm, it's never going to go to the right. So what's the first thing you have people do as far as like, okay, they, they decided they wanted to do this. And do they, you know, a lot of people do like little, little tiny shots at first or? No, first thing I'm going to do, okay, we're going to start our lesson with you now. You oh, want let's me, do that. Let's okay. do that. Okay. So in the next video we're going to do, uh, we're going to start, uh, my lesson. So you're going to see that. So stay tuned to Be Better Golf. Go to advancedballstriking.com and John's Instagram, uh, Advanced Ball Striking on Instagram, and everything else that you need to know to get connected with John and to see what's going on at Be Better Golf. Go to the description of this video. Most important thing is just to hit the subscribe button, and that way you'll always stay up to date with what's happening. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.